Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Hope you guys have seen my last few videos on my blue K3AT keyboard. If you haven't, check it out in the description box below or on the cards on the top. Today, let me show you again the pink or should I say the rose K3AT keyboard and the M350 Pebble Mouse. Just so you guys know, this is my friend's keyboard and mouse which I sometimes borrow to make videos for you guys. If you're subscribed, thanks for watching again. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for dropping by and maybe consider subscribing. We're almost at 600 subscribers. So, let's get into it. My blue K380 has been out for years even before I got it in 2017. So in my opinion, it was a good move by Logitech to revive this great keyboard when they brought out this pink version. This pink K380 is a good refresh and aesthetically pleasing. A lot are drawn to this pink K380 and so most are pairing this with the Pebble Mouse. And you'll see in YouTube there are many that are making videos about this. I have shown in my other videos how to connect these devices. But let me show you again how easy it is. Connecting the keyboard is straightforward as usual. Turn on the device and then choose the device switch and pair it to the iPad. Reconnecting the keyboard is as easy with just a flick of the power button. And of course, if I connect and use this on another device, then I have to choose the right button, whether it's one, two or three to start using it. Now typing on the pink or rose K380 keyboard is the same, almost the same as my blue K380. Why do I say almost the same? It seems the clicks are more quiet and harder to type on the pink one than my blue keyboard. Maybe because the pink is newer? But anyway, I still like the typing feel because it's low-key, it has low-key travel and it has quiet clicks. Here's how the typing sounds like. I tried a 10fastfingers.com test, hoping to have good results, but no, I don't type fast. But anyway, I did it so I can let you guys hear how the typing sounds like on the pink K380 keyboard. So here it is. I got questions from my other videos how the letters on the keys hold up. Well, for my blue one, you can have a look at my other videos and see how it looks like. But in short, the letters are intact. As for the pink one, Logitech provided the stickers for the Thai characters and it will protect the letterings on the keys. I don't know though if there are clear stickers for sale out there. Sorry guys, I don't know. If anyone knows, any links to get the clear stickers for the K380 please leave it in the comment section down below. Connecting the mouse is as straightforward as the keyboard. I turn on the power button and hold on the button to pair and select it in the iPad and that's it. The mouse clicks are really quiet, but you still feel and hear it. I quote this from Logitech's website. They said, Logitech Pebble's silent technology gives you the same click feel you love with about 90% less noise. Just a side note, this weird thing happened while I was using the mouse. As you see here, 
The mouse is moving really rough and kind of uncontrollable. It wasn't really following where I want to point it. What I did was I pulled down hard to go back to the home screen and tried again, and it seems that it went back to normal. The scrolling and moving around the mouse became smooth again, and response seems to be okay. There is this warning message from the Bluetooth settings saying using the K380 may affect Wi Fi and Bluetooth connection. This could be the reason for that sudden issue on the mouse uh, in the few clips earlier. But I guess I'm lucky because I've never really experienced any connection issues aside from that earlier. My keyboard, mouse, and the Wi Fi all stay connected and never gets disconnected at all. Here are some settings that you can do on your mouse. By default, natural scrolling is turned on. So you can turn it off so when you use your scroll wheel to go down, the screen will also go down and if you scroll up and so the screen will go up. Another side note here, scrolling using the scroll wheel is not that smooth as I've noticed. And uh, I noticed this in my first few videos, so check it out as well in the links below. It seems to be the same as for all other Logitech mice I tried on the iPad. But what I noticed is that my M585 is a bit smoother than this Pebble mouse. Also for my first video on the Pebble mouse, the pointer icon was the usual small round circle. Now, what I noticed with the iPad OS 14 or I think it was the 14.1 or 14.2, I think there is this new setting that makes the pointer icon bigger, way bigger. The perform touch gesture setting in the assistive touch setting is on by default. So turning it off will show the icon back as the usual nice small round icon. From the assistive touch settings, you can still do customizations as you want on the mouse. Although for me personally, I didn't really want to change anything much because they're just really basically two clicks that I can do on this mouse. I would have to do the customization on my M585 where I have more buttons to use. So even if the K380 is an old keyboard, the pink version with the Pebble Mouse gave it a refreshed and updated look. In this video, I just really wanted to give you an updated version of how you can use this combo on the iPad Pro 11 inch. Well, and I think in fact, it can work on any iPad version. So anyone out there using other iPads and using this combo as well, please feel free to share your experience in the comment section down below. So that's it. Thanks for watching.